Well, good afternoon, everyone. Another great day in the state of West Virginia. We're here with Governor Justice, and uh, he's going to announce what, what's going to happen right behind us here in just a very short amount of time. Uh, Governor, before we get started, I'd like to, to tell you that I have uh, one of our employees with me today, and he is, as of last Friday, he is our newest Ph.D. working for the Division of Highways, Chief Engineer. I know how important the roadways are to you, and I also know how important education is. So, Rylan, if you would, wave at the governor here. And the Great job. Great job. Great job. Unbelievable, Doc. <laughs> uh, we also have representatives from our contractor on this project, Brayman Construction. Um, we... Uh, we have a completion date on this project, and I always tell the contractors the completion dates. This is one contractor that listens. Uh, the completion date is October 2023. You guys got that, and I know this is a consortium project with you and Trumbull, so you pass that on to your partners over there, and we'll, uh, we'll hit those deadlines, right? Just, just like you always do. So uh, this particular project is the last of the general obligation bond projects. That, uh, that are funded from, from, those, from those bond proceeds. Um, this, one, this one's a big one. This, one, this one's important. Uh, it's gonna take care of a lot of congestion over here. It's, uh, it's more than just a bridge project. You know, there's, there's several bridges here that cross the interstate and carry the interstate. Uh, we're gonna build one new bridge. We're gonna rehab the other. We're gonna make the canoe configuration of the on-ramp and the entrance to the interstate. It's going to work much more smoothly, much more free-flowing. Uh, this is what the Roads to Prosperity is all about. This is exactly what the vision was that the governor gave us. And this completes a phase of this, of this whole program. Uh, all the GO1 bonds projects, the, of the 10 sig regionally significant projects, are under contract as of today. So uh, this, this is a big day. Without, uh, without any further ado, I'm going to introduce one more time, and it's my great honor, Governor Jim Justice. Jimmy, thank you. And thank all of you for all the incredible work you're doing. You know, congratulations to our new doc that we have here that just earned his Ph.D. And uh, I can't say enough about Jimmy Riston. I can't say enough about Bird White. I can't say enough about all these great men and women that work in our Department of Highways, our Department of Transportation. They are doing phenomenal work. That's just plain all there is to it. And the fact that we're finishing phase one of this incredible bond that we passed by 73% of the vote. Now just think about this. Along the way, what was all the talk about the bond? All the talk about the bond was they're going to have to raise your taxes more, and therefore you need to vote against it. And we said over and over and over, we're not going to raise your taxes more. We're not going to raise your taxes. Absolutely, we don't need to do that. And lo and behold, what did we really do? We really bonded the first phase, and we got a premium of in excess of $100 million dollars and we plowed all kinds of that into the secondary roads. We never raised a tax a dime. And now here we sit. Here we sit with great work. And all of you need to be so proud of yourselves. It is an absolute incredible day. Now, normally I don't ever read, but I got to read some of this stuff to you. This project, and I asked, just ask Jimmy because I don't have this in any notes here and everything. But this project, Jimmy just said, is going to is going to cost two hundred and twenty-four million four hundred and thirty-eight thousand nineteen dollars, or something like that. I can't, but it was, but it was, it was pushing two hundred and twenty-five million dollars. It's an incredible project. It's needed so badly. It's needed from the standpoint of congestion, but it's also needed so badly from the standpoint of safety. You know, in this area right here, we can get heavy fogs and everything, and the potential of having a really catastrophic accident is there and looms greater and greater every day. So Godspeed in, in us getting this project done and getting it done on time. I congratulate uh, Brayman and, and Trumbull 
you know, they're going to work together on this. It's always wonderful when people are working together on stuff. And this project, it says here, it goes way beyond. Well, we know it's going to, the, the new bridge is going to carry the traffic to Huntington. The repair of this bridge is going to be carrying traffic to Charleston. And then in addition to that, there's 3.8 miles of road work that you're going to do in addition to that. Going to do an upgrade to, to the Nitro and Scott Depot areas, and uh, it just goes on and on. So the net of the whole thing is 100 years of life for work that's going to be completed in October of 2023. I don't know how it gets much better. We've waited on this a long time. We're here. We're here. We just keep delivering and delivering and delivering, and uh, at some point in time, the whole world is going to perk up and say, West Virginia is the place we want to be. Every day it gets better. Every single day it gets better. We want people to know that we're the diamond in the rough that they missed and not the backward, ignorant, slow 50th state that we were forever and a day. There's no way I could be more proud. And now, in addition to this, we're going to do something that is a little bit unusual, but you know me, I'm always up for the theatrics in every way. But uh, Jimmy, an incredible contractor, incredible work of all kinds of people, Jimmy is going to unveil something. Let me tell him what it is first, okay? The Danner Road Overpass, which everybody has been just, live it over because it is causing a lot of pain and suffering in lots of people's lives but we had we had to fix it we had to do the work so in doing that we said that our great people are going to be able to get this with the contract everybody involved but our division of highways is going to get this done in 60 days well that 60 day period is going to be up somewhere around the first days of December. But today, today, through Vanna White unveiling this for us, today, and I want to read this to you, it says, as you may know, our team with the highways department set an aggressive schedule on this project. They wanted to get it done in 60 days. That would have put them a week after Thanksgiving. And there's no question how fast that really truly is. Now, not only did our DOH and our contractor, Brame and Construction, beat that, they knocked it out of the park. Crews are wrapping up construction on the Danner Bridge right now. And they'll be off the bridge tomorrow. <laughs> Gosh, it's unbelievable. Just 36 days after we started, 24 days ahead of schedule. Now, the only little part here that Jimmy left out is 36 has a ring to it to me. I'm your 36th governor, and I told Jimmy on day one, we're not going past 36 days. No, I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing. Nevertheless, an incredible feat, an incredible feat by great, great, great workers and great, great people, and way to go. And so our citizens will be inconvenienced a little less, and they'll be able to drive for their Thanksgiving dinner and a little less hassle and everything, and uh, maybe they'll feel better about how they're going to do on the football games. <laughs> Nevertheless, uh, great day, an incredible need, and, and a giant project, and jobs and revenue to our state beyond belief the trademark that says to the world come to west virginia absolutely the best of the best is happening right in front of you so god bless you and thank you for coming and uh either i or jimmy will take your questions if you got any questions and uh if you don't get me out of this sun <laughs> We have a completion date of October 2023. Uh, we're uh, we're probably going to uh, to 
having our contractors submit all the normal paperwork and everything, they'll, they'll probably be, be starting the design work, design bill project. So they'll be starting the design work really, really soon, like now, and uh, be really getting after it here in the spring. Uh, well, I think you know. Obviously, the new bridge is will be will be upstream, so uh, that work won't really impact traffic very much. They're going to do as much concurrent work as they can. That they're going to work as efficiently as they can. So you will see some some construction in the spring, and uh, it may have some traffic impacts. Once their design team gets the actual plans out, we'll be out in front. And we'll be asking for all the media's help to uh, to actually pass the word on to the public exactly what that phasing is once they have that designed and submitted to us for our approval and we'll move forward with that. Let me say this and not 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 being disrespectful in any way but we got to have the bridge. If we just keep jamming traffic in there and jamming traffic we're going to wait every day for the rest of our lives and we're going to have traffic issues forever now when you decide you're going to fix a bridge and build a new bridge we all got to understand it's probably going to inconvenience a little bit for a little while but this is like your whole leg is, is bleeding and everything else. now the stitches are going to hurt a little bit but for god's sakes of living i want the stitches put in and everything to stop the bleeding you know so so this is probably going to inconvenience a little bit but uh we sure don't want to end up like, you know, Clark on Christmas vacation where he worked so hard to get his lights finally going and he finally got his lights going. His dad said, the third row is not twinkling, Clark. You know, we don't need to do that. There'll be no third row not twinkling on this project. This, this one's a complete package. Well, here's the thing, and it's just so simple. When I walked in the door on day one, we were in real deep dupe. That's all there is to it. We had to create instant jobs. We took a real chance in going out and, and bonding six times the amount of work that we've ever done in this state before. It worked. It worked. It created instant jobs. But everyone always remember, for somebody to come to the state of West Virginia, the first thing they ask about is the schools. They want their kids to be in good schools. We got good schools and everything, but they didn't know it. And the next thing they ask about is this, in their standard of life is the roads. They absolutely want to be able to move around and have good roads. And then from the standpoint of real manufacturing and things like that, you got to have roads. That's all there is to it. So all this is serving so many different masters. When you think about the whole thing, what this is really doing is on day one, it's creating a lot of jobs and a lot of revenue for West Virginia. On day two, it's giving us standard of life and better highways. And on day three, it's giving us the manufacturing possibilities in so many different areas there. So really and truly, this is, uh, we, I've said it over and over, in the first term, we've got us on the launch pad. You know, it was my job. Get us out of the hole. Get us on the launch pad. Now we're ready to go. Second term, we're going to fly off like an absolute rocket like you can't imagine. We've got all kinds of good things coming to West Virginia. We're going to end up being that diamond in the rough. You mark my words. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's happening right in front of you right now. Well, I'm not. I'm not sure that there's any plans on the books right now today. But uh, you know, hearing that. You know, this is the guy with all big with with more big ideas than I'll ever have. So, 
uh, if it if if it comes to that and it needs an access, we'll be there. You got 250 acres within a rock's throw of Charleston and Huntington, and the only thing that's holding us back in the development of that's an access. Seems to me like something we ought to be working on. Listen, let, let me again, let me just say this. Anytime you have highway, you know, construction, you're going to have disruptions. None of us like, and, and you know, and, and, you know, none of us like to sit and wait. And, and those questions are perfectly fair and perfectly reasonable. And because we anticipate, well, how much, how much waiting are we going to have to do? Well, nobody likes to do that. And especially nobody likes to do it if we're going to be doing it till 2023. But at the end of the day, we just got to. That's all there is to it. We just got to keep moving and keep going north. And uh, and and this this is a great day. But I thank y'all so much. And I thank you for your question and your concern because uh, nobody likes to wait. I'm crying out loud. Let me let me let me end by just saying this. Yesterday, I had I had three different conversations with all the bonding agents, uh, you know, agents and other things. Well, it was Mooney's and. Fitch and Fitch was first. No, no, Moody's was first, then Fitch, and then uh, uh, Standard and Poor's. But, but when I was doing the Fitch one, I was coming down the turnpike, and I was about to lose the coverage and everything. So I, I pulled over, and had the trooper pull in behind me. And the reason I was late here is because they lost me out there, and I, uh, you know, I, I didn't know how to get here to tell you the truth, but we found it. But nevertheless, I pulled over on the turnpike. And the trooper pulled in behind me and turned his lights on. Now, no telling how many people came by and said they caught the governor and they're giving him a ticket, you know. <laughs> and so, so uh, listen, if you could have been on the phone with all those bonding people and everything and you could have heard how positive in the comments that they were saying about West Virginia, you'd be so proud. You'd be so blooming proud. You know, um, there's lots of people out there in the wilderness that are thinking good stuff about us, and that, that's just going to bring good things to us. Okay, everybody, thank you all.